Uh, so Mandy, her birthday is on Christmas Eve. Her birthday is on December 24th, which is kind of cool because it means that like the family tends to be together, which is fun. It's not like it's in the middle of like, you know, school year or something where it's hard to travel. People tend to get together in our families for Christmas. So you, everyone's kind of together. It's kind of sad because it means her birthday gets kind of consumed by Christmas. Um, but so the tradition to celebrate Mandy's birthday is on December 24th, Mandy's birthday is like a big lunch. Because uh, a lot of times in the evening, you know, it's like Christmas Eve dinners kind of a thing. Her family used to go sing at church because her mom is a vocalist and like a professional singer in a, in a choir. And, you know, everyone would kind of go. And it was a really fun tradition, actually. But so Manny's thing was lunch on Christmas Eve. And for like a long time, most of her life, I think, uh, Mandy's favorite restaurant to do that at was Buca di Beppo. Mm. It's an Italian family style restaurant. You order and they come, the portions are for like three to four or like six to eight people. There's like huge yeah. plates of pasta and stuff. It's fun, right? You go with a group, you go with a big family group, order a bunch of stuff and everyone has a, has a little scoop of everything. And it's like a good family party restaurant. It's actually where we went uh, for dinner on New Year's Eve, the night that we got engaged. Mm. It's made it to marry me. And then we had a really nice dinner at the restaurant that I'm about to tell the story about. But so Christmas Eve clearly is also kind of a busy day. It's kind of weird, but like restaurants tend to be pretty busy, right? Some people maybe aren't celebrating Christmas, so they're going out just to have fun and, you know, have a little celebration of their own. Some people don't want to cook on Christmas Eve but they because they cook on the next day, whatever. So restaurants tend to be pretty busy. Buco is usually pretty busy, but we made a reservation because we're planners. We planned. Mm -hmm. We're ready. Mm -hmm. Made a reservation. So I, I don't remember the time, but I think we had a reservation for lunch at like one o'clock. Perfectly normal. And we have a pretty big group. And it's like it's like a lot of people, right? Grandma is there. All the siblings are there. My parents, I think, drove down into town. So it's like both Manny's parents and my parents. We had like maybe almost a dozen people. Aunt Sue was there. We had like almost a dozen people in our group. Big group, big table. And we had a reservation. So we were like, you know, you show up at the time. They see you at the table, right? In theory. In theory. <laughs> sure. So we show up a little early. We show up maybe 1230, you know, 1245, a little bit early. Check in. And the hostess is like, great, a uh, party of whatever you guys. Just go have a seat. We'll get your table ready. Like, cool. And we're sitting there. And time starts to pass a little bit. And we have a big group. They don't have like a small lobby, but it's not enough where everyone can like sit and chill. We're kind of all crowded standing. You know, that awkward like crowd in, get out of the way. There's a bunch of people around. It's pre-pandemic. So everyone's just mingling and wedging together. Yeah. We're kind of awkwardly standing all in one clump. Just like any second now we'll be seated. So this is okay. And like it, it turns over to one o'clock and then it turns over to like one fifteen. And it turns over to like 1.30. Uh. And at different points, you know, you play this game of, you don't want to be a pest, but at different points as time is passing, you kind of go, and it was me or uh, Mandy's dad went up and was like, hey, we sitting down soon? We still got a table? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting it ready. And it just kept passing. And I, I just may be an exaggeration, but I don't remember Building the table? They're just sanding <laughs> yeah. it down and staining it? I don't know how much time has passed, but eventually we reach a point where, you know, it's like 1.45 or something. We reach the point where all of us are kind of like, this is not cool. This is not really acceptable. Why did we make a reservation? We would have waited this long if we just walked in anyway. Mm -hmm. And they have on special holidays, this place has a thing where you can only have your table for a set amount of time, mm -hmm. right? And you're only supposed to use the table for like a couple hours. There's a limit. And so I, I, Manny's dad did the talking on this interaction, but I went up with him because I was curious. He's like, hey, can we, is our table okay? Is there a problem? Like, we're just trying to have some, celebrate my daughter's birthday, you know, like what's going on? And the lady is like, we can't, your table's occupied. There's people at it. So we can't seat you. <laughs> and it was kind of like, well, well, there's time limit, right? Aren't they over their time limit then? Like, clearly you didn't overbook this table. That'd be stupid. Uh -huh. So they're over time. And she's like, yeah, they're way over their time limit. And so we're kind of like, okay, so kick them out, right? Like, tell them their time is up. They have to leave. And she's like, oh, no, well, we don't do that. The time limit, you know, we can't, like, enforce that. We just, that's just the rules. And we're like, okay, well, so this, so our time starts when we sit down, right? Because now we've given up almost half of our time to some other group who's just bogarting this table and ignoring your rules and you're not doing anything about it. And she was like, no, well, ever, we have a, a reservation scheduled after you. So you, you have to be out by three or whatever. You have to be out by the time. You got 20 like, minutes to sit down and eat an order and everything. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. And this is the point where I was pretty mad. But Manny's dad, he's a teacher. Uh -huh. um, and, and anyone who's a teacher has this ability 
ability to like turn on that mode where you get like really scary and and really like intimidating but in a totally nice and calm way yeah i don't understand how it works but he he goes into this mode because he's livid he's like this that's not acceptable like what you're doing right now this is rude to us there's no way this is a fucking huge restaurant like you could seat 500 people in a book i don't know but they're like they're very large restaurants they're made for family styles you could seat us at another table you could tell this other group there's a people waiting for this there's a lot of things that you should be doing because we made a reservation and right now you're ruining our whole plan and then telling us that there's nothing we can do about it and we get an hour to eat food at this place that's not acceptable and normally when he does that he doesn't do it a lot but when he does that whoever he's talking to it kind of like stiffens up like a like a school like a high schooler mm -hmm. right when the teacher is school they like and they're like oh you you're right yeah you're right this lady did not like it she was not having that and she fucking she looks right back at him and is like uh i'm doing my job you're telling me how to do my job right now you'll get a table when you get a table <laughs> Oof. Oof. and uh you know, that's understandable if she was stressed. I have no idea what's going on with this person, but that's not really a polite way to deal with this situation where we're kind of annoyed and they're not really doing anything to help or fix it. Mm -hmm. And also it's Christmas Eve and we're sort of, you know, tight on time. We got other stuff after the lunch that we're going to need to get to. And what, and so Maddie's dad is like, I would like to talk to your manager, please. That I don't think this is, that's not okay. I don't like you talking to me like that. And she was like, I am the manager. <laughs> And you need to stop talking. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she was fucking rude. Mm, like it went I from the Senate. <laughs> it went from being unhelpful to her being like, you need to shut up. I'm busy. We will deal with you when we get to it. And all this, and we were that this is one of the only times in my entire life, whatever she said, all the things she said, uh, we I looked at her and and Eddie's dad stood there and looked at her, and we just turned and gathered the group and walked out.